Okay, today we're going to be adding an NVMe drive into a Synology NAS. Um, if you are doing this for storage pools, Synology recommends that you use uh, the Synology branded drive. If you're using this for read cache, uh, you can use many different types. Uh, I'm going to use this Kingston drive and I'm going to put a link in the description for it uh, and I'll show you how to do it. So first thing you want to do, obviously shut off your NAS and then we're going to flip it over. And you're going to see two slots on the back, one and two. Uh, if you don't have any drive in here, you're going to go with one first. And uh, I'll go ahead and take this drive out of the package so we can go ahead and install it. Okay, once you've got your drive out, you're going to notice if you've never installed one of these before, it's keyed. It's got a small side and a large side. And you'll notice in here, we've got a small side and a large side the same way. And you're just going to line this up. It's very similar to installing a stick of RAM. And Synology has made this very easy uh, in that you don't need a screw. It's got a little tab. And you pull this tab back and push it down. And that's it. It's installed. You can go ahead and reinstall the cover plate. And we'll go ahead and boot it up. Okay, once you've installed your drive, you can go ahead and go into the storage manager. And you're going to see my new drive is showing up here. And when we click on it here, we can manage the available drives. And it's going to tell me that I have one drive that is not in use. Uh, and if I were to try and do a storage pool, it's going to say no drives are available that meet the requirements. This is because it's not a Synology drive. But I'm going to go ahead and make it an SSD uh, cache, uh, which is what I wanted to do with it anyway. You'll have a list of different volumes you can use it on. I only have one here with this. And we'll hit next. It'll be a read-only cache. And you'll have some options depending on your configuration. Right now I only have the one because I have one drive, so I don't have any RAID types here. If you had two, you'd have more options. I'll go ahead and select the drive. Hit next. Hit continue. And next, and apply. And now this will go ahead and load. And that's it. I've got the SSD cache right here with my M2 drive uh, alongside of the four, uh, four terabyte drives that I have in my RAID 5 array uh, with the rest of the NAS. So that's it. That's as easy as it is. Um, hope this helps somebody. Thanks for watching.